Hi everyone, welcome back for another mosquito review. Now looking at the second smooth ambler that's been sent to me by my mate Adrian. Um, I quite enjoyed the Old Scout uh, bourbon bottle at 49.5%, but this one, the color of it, <laughs> look at that. Um, so this one's non-chill filtered, like the Old Scout, bottled at 46%, and um, this one's a blend. So what they're saying is um, the whiskey has come from the Smooth Ambler and some other distilleries as well. And they've blended together, if I read it right, corn-driven whiskeys, but also wheated whiskey. So the sweetness of the wheat and then obviously the normal Smooth Ambler is uh, a little bit more rye. So you've got sort of the spice and uh, sweetness clashing together. And it's got this little neck tank says america's best craft whiskey distillery by usa today cool number one smooth ambler contradiction bourbon and i guess um the term contradiction comes from um blending whiskey together which is um both corn driven and um right now the website says this is on average a release of 45,000 bottles a year, which is not a lot, you know, I mean states It's a big old place and then obviously they want to um, send a lot of the whiskey overseas as well and luckily some of this has made its way to New Zealand um, Obviously a lot deeper in color compared to the old scout that I tried um, in the last video mm. There's definitely a little bit more oak and again, the research showed that this is predominantly made with whiskey aged seven years or older. There's some little bit younger, but predominantly seven years or older. Yeah, a lot more relaxed in the nose, not as punchy as the old scout. There's almost a, a, a sherry car scotch whiskey like sweetness on the nose. Very nice. Uh, what did the night say? So these guys are full of oak, dried cherries, vanilla, cinnamon, uh, and then sweetness of the wheat and spice from the rye colliding. <laughs> I don't know, but um, yeah, definitely really rich sweetness on the nose. Enjoying that. Wow, very nice. It's interesting, there's, there's a hint of spice, sherry kind of spice and sweetness, and there's underlying vanilla sweetness of the bourbon, which is just really nice. It reminds me a little bit of uh, Collier & McKeel, which is one of my favorite uh, whiskeys from States. I've enjoyed this year. Um, enjoyed for the fact that I could actually drink more than one bottle that's available. I'm glad this is here now. Mm. Let's try it. Mm. The spice, straight away. Cinnamon. It's a lot softer on the palate compared to the old Scout I tried before. Definitely a little bit more spicy than the other one, which is weird because this one has a wheat. The sweetness in the back, just lingering. And seems a lot more tamed as well in terms of it's not as powerful on the palate. Um, this one's at 46%. Um, the other one was at 49.5. Mm. Very nice. I can still taste a lot of that wine. Um, I'll definitely say it leans a lot more towards the rye than the wheat sweetness because I've tried some wheated bourbons recently and um, they were very tarty, lime-like sweetness where this is still very much towards the rye but also I'm trying this whiskey straight after the other one. Um, so 
the palette might have a lot more of the rye richness uh, still lingering. Mmm. Quite nice. If you ask me, I think I prefer the old scout. I like this rough edges and the real big rye hatch where this one seems a lot sweeter. But I enjoyed the nose on this one a lot more than the other one. And if you saw my review of the old scout, um I kind of wanted it to be just a little bit more oaky, a little bit more mature on the nose and the palate, which what this what this delivers on i guess and um I, mean, I can't get past the color that's beautiful color wow i mean it doesn't say anywhere in my research or on the website that um they've added any artificial color or not um i'm gonna assume they haven't so if you're liking the content please like share or subscribe otherwise i'll see you really really soon for another whiskey review see you bye bye